Marco, welcome. Wonderful to have the opportunity to talk with you today. My pleasure. We're here at European Space Conference. What are the key issues important to the discussion? Yeah, of course, space in Europe, it's really important that we have our own capabilities in order to make use of space and to do things in space. So autonomy is important. It's also important because it's becoming more and more strategic and more and more becoming essential infrastructure also in normal life, that all this infrastructure is safe and secure. So that is really important. But from my perspective, the most important thing in order to make this happen is that we actually start developing a European space market and that there's the possibility for companies to invest and to recover these investments by having real customers on the real market. And that also means that there should be competition and the best ones should excel. So I think for me, a very important development that I think we should work on is uh, and, and work on together is to make sure that there's a European market on which a real serious European industry can develop and flourish and therefore also develop all the solutions we need for the safety and for the autonomy. 2023 brings Cosine 25 year anniversary an amazing achievement. Can you run through the highlights of those years? 25 years of COSIGN has been an amazing ride. We started out working on the largest ESA uh, institutional science missions, astronomy, planetary science, and then working on developing instrumentation for that and working together with the whole European science community and the companies on developing that technology. Moved into instrumentation for planetary science and developed and designed a lot of systems. And from there, we moved into miniaturized Earth observation instruments. And after having worked on all the largest ESA missions, uh, we also find ourselves now in the position where we make really small instruments in a half a year. We even produce now on a very regular basis our HyperScout instruments. And we see a whole new era in space and where we are uh, now really building instruments on a very regular basis and selling it all over the world to commercial customers. And that has really been a huge change over the last 25 years in space. Will you be celebrating this anniversary? Of course, we have already celebrated it because on the 7th of January, was the official 25 years so we certainly opened maybe more than one bottle of champagne uh, but we will also celebrate it later during the year so we'll organize a conference to invite all our partners that we have worked over in the last 25 years to share uh, stories but also to look forward to what the next future is going to bring and of course we'll have a big party also with the employees and all the partners and the kids in order to celebrate that we have been doing this with a fairly small team we're about 50 people and that with this fairly small team we have been able to achieve such amazing things. How about current projects that Cosine is developing? At the moment we're really working hard on our miniaturized instruments, our HyperScout line of instruments and we are very regularly building them so there are already five in orbit and for this year there will be certainly be three launched but we will probably build many more and we're also developing other versions of that so we're continuing the technology development and extending the capabilities of our HyperScout platform. In parallel we're also working on a really big mission, uh, the Athena mission from the European Space Agency for which we actually hope to manufacture the X-ray optics and we are continuing the development of that and preparing for the large scale production because that in the end would mean a hundred thousand mirrors that we have to manufacture for a single mission so that will also be a, a lot of activities this year. Earth observation how do you see satellites role playing out in the sector? We really see a big change now coming apart from just collecting a lot of data and then having it on the ground and analyzing it uh, we really see a big change uh, into really smaller instruments uh, in orbit that can also do in orbit processing which leads you to much shorter revisit time so they will pass over instead of every week they will pass over several times per day and that's already the case with our hyperscout instrument that can also process the data on board that means that you get a whole shift from uh, observing it and analyzing the data to really generating real-time information that you get information within half an hour an hour and that you can also really act upon so you get actionable information instead of collecting information that you can analyze afterwards. And for many applications, you really need this for a lot of rapid response applications. And this is really now happening. And that means that a lot of applications that you always wanted to do from space are now becoming really possible to do with these really short revisit times and the capability to get the information down really fast. It's also exciting times because where space used to be exciting, but really big projects and long timescales, we're now really getting into an era where it really becomes exciting.
building. You get three months timescale. We build instruments where we discuss with the customer and six months later it is in space. And that means that it's not only the projects are exciting, but it's also really exciting times to work in space and to actually do activities because it is not something that will happen in 10 years from now. We do things now and they will actually be in orbit in a short period of time and you really can start doing things with it and building things with it. And I think this is really a very dynamic time and really active time which is also very attractive now to be in. Marco, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, my pleasure.